Greetings to all of you and God bless you today. I hope everybody's doing well. Folks, I'm going to keep saying it every time I come on here. Jesus is coming and Jesus is coming one day very, very, very soon. Folks, we know according to scripture, when the Antichrist confirms the covenant with many, Daniel chapter 9 verse 27, for one week, this is referring to a week of years. When we think of a week, we think of seven days, you know, Monday through Sunday. But the week spoken of in Daniel chapter 9, verse 27, is a week of years coming to seven years. When the Antichrist confirms the covenant with many, that will start the seven-year tribulation period. Ever since I started my channel, I have said to keep your eyes on the United Nations because I believe they are going to play a huge role in ushering in the future Antichrist. Well, folks, what I'm about to share with you should blow your mind. Thank you to my brother in Christ, Tyler, over at Generation 2434 channel. Uh, and many of you that had sent me this. Uh, this is actually, if you go to the United Nations website, you go to their Department of Economic and Social Affairs. This is recently just in. Look at the, the title of this article here from the UN's own website. We need seven years of accelerated, transformative action to achieve SDGs. SDGs stands for Sustainable Development Goals. Folks, I want you to pay very close attention to what is said here. Listen to this. Almost eight years have passed since the international community agreed to take bold and transformative step, steps to achieve the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development, a plan of action to secure the rights and well-being of everyone on a healthy, thriving planet. Today, at the halfway point to 2030, that promise is in peril and a fundamental shift is needed in commitment, solidarity, financing, and action to put the world on a better path. And it is needed now. The SDG Summit, which I already told you guys, SDG, stands for Sustainable Development Goal. The summit in September 2023, this September, actually it's going to be held September 18th to 19th, which is, which is just after the Feast of Trumpets or Rosh Hashanah this year. This summit must signal a genuine turning point. It must mobilize the political commitment and breakthroughs our world desperately needs. It must deliver a, listen to this, it must deliver a rescue plan for people and the planet. A rescue plan. Hmm. At the center of this rescue plan, heads of state and government must recommit to seven years of accelerated, sustained, and transformative action, both nationally and internationally, to deliver on the promise of the SDGs. Leaders can show their resolve by adopting an ambitious and forward-looking political declaration at the SDG Summit and presenting global and national commitments for SDG transformation. I mean, folks, you can't make this stuff up. We've been talking about Agenda 2030 for a while. For those of you that don't know what it is, it's basically the globalists, the world leaders, the elite, they're all working together they want to have a one world government in place by the year 2030, but they've actually come out and said they want to accelerate Agenda 2030. But now they're calling for this summit to be held this September. The United Nations is calling for this summit to be held this September 18th to 19th, which is just after the Feast of Trumpets this year. And they're saying that it must deliver a rescue plan for the people and the planet. And at the center of this rescue plan, heads of state and government must recommit to seven years of accelerated, sustained, and transformative action. Anytime I see seven years involved, I pay extra close attention. Because again, according to Daniel chapter 9, verse 27, when the Antichrist confirms the covenant with many for one week, a week of years, a seven-year time frame that will start the seven-year tribulation period. Now, I want to make something very clear. I am not saying that this summit that is going to be held September 18th and 19th uh, by the United Nations, 
I am not saying that the tribulation period will start this fall. What I am saying is I'm paying extra close attention because they're talking about this seven-year rescue plan because it's seven years to 2030. For 2030 minus seven brings you to this year. They have seven years left to reach their goals of Agenda 2030, and they're talking about a seven-year rescue plan that they want to bring forth to this summit, September 18th and September 19th, hosted by the United Nations. They're saying our world's in peril and we need a rescue plan. Well, who's going to rescue the world? Well, we know what scripture says. When the Antichrist comes onto the world scene after the rapture of the church, he's going to make order out of chaos. He's going to have all the answers. And people are going to look to him. as He's the false messiah. They're going to look to this Antichrist, this false messiah, as the one who's saving the world. What a better way to have the United Nations host a summit like this to bring the future Antichrist onto the world scene to come up with a plan, a seven-year plan to save the world, a world in peril, a world that needs rescuing. So no, I'm not saying that the tribulation is going to start this fall. But they just said they're going to host a rescue plan summit this September, a seven-year rescue plan summit. You can't make this stuff up. If we know the rapture of the Church of Jesus Christ needs to occur, before the Antichrist is revealed, and before the tribulation period begins, and we see this tribulation period casting its shadow on the earth, how close are we to the rapture? I would say a lot closer than people realize. All I can tell you is if you're watching this video right now and you do not have Jesus Christ in your life, just look around this world right now at everything occurring and look at what your Bible says. You will see several things are true. The Bible is real. The Bible is alive. Jesus is real. Jesus is alive. And Jesus is coming back, and he's coming back one day very, very, very soon. This current world order, it is sinking, and it is sinking fast just like the Titanic. You need to get on the lifeboat right here and right now. That lifeboat is Jesus Christ in him alone. I'm not telling you to get religious. I'm telling you you can be saved right here, right now, as you're watching this video. Now is the accepted time. Now is the day of salvation. What do you have to do to be saved? Put your faith in your trust in the blood of Jesus Christ right now. Believe Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. The sin that, that you could never pay on your own, Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross so you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, and be with him forever in heaven. So you're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. Time is running out. Jesus is coming soon. The bottom line is this. Jesus Christ is the only way to the kingdom of heaven, and he's the only name that can save you. I am begging you, I am imploring you to get saved right now. Put your faith and your trust in the blood of Jesus right now. Believe he died on that cross for your sins. He was buried, and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day, as it is written in the scriptures. And do it now, because tomorrow is not promised. And make no mistake about it. Jesus is coming, and he's coming one day very, very, very soon. Keep looking up, keep watching with me, and God bless you all.